Hello, I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal with People and Processes. Today I wanted to share some thoughts with you regarding how equipment fails. If you know anything about reliability center maintenance, you know reliability center maintenance started in 1968 with a study done by Nolan and Heap with the aircraft industry. And what they actually found out is there were actually six failure curves. Prior to that, what we had always done is we had based everything on time-based maintenance. And this is why this effort was so important. Because, for example, we might, if I go to a bottling company, they might run this 100 days of summer as an example. And then they just go in and start overhauling everything, doing scheduled discards or scheduled restorations as an example. But what we found out from Nolan and Heap stuff is that actually only 11 to 20 percent of all components actually fail with some predictable wear out zone as an example or reached a wear out zone. And 80 percent of them had actually no real wear out zone. So what this means for us is the condition-based condition maintenance approaches are much more effective and much more cost-effective than doing time-based maintenance because 80% of them, 80 to 89% of the components in the aircraft industry specifically, actually have no, no wear-out zone. So you can't use time-based maintenance on it. You have to use condition-based. And that translates to industrial maintenance and facilities maintenance as well. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Jeff Shiver, People and Processes, have a great day.